Dialogue can be used in many different ways, as we talked about in the previous lesson. You're starting your introduction with dialogue, having characters talk back and forth. Um, so when you're doing this, it's often repetitive, or repeats itself if you constantly use the word said for your dialogue tag. So the word list below that you see here is just a word list of some examples of dialogue tags that you can use um, to get across the point of how your your character is actually speaking. When I'm talking to my mother and I just got a new puppy, I might be talking excitedly. Or if I found out bad news, I might talk sadly. So those are two different examples that you could do to for dialogue tags. But a word of caution, and when you're using dialogue tags, if you constantly use and change the word said to another one and then you constantly use that one you're falling into the same pattern as you would have if you just used the word said all the time so sometimes the word said and stated or questioned and answered those can work and then you can think about how you want to add in others looking at the below paragraph I want you to take a look at how I've used dialogue and this is a very important part notice that every time there's new dialogue. A new character is talking. I make a new paragraph. So for instance, in this paragraph right here, I never gave it much thought, Grandpa said. But after I read this letter, I got thinking practically all the animals have names. Take your old milk cow. Her name is Sally Gooden. Your dad's two mules are named Fred and George. My buggy mares are named Molly and Bertie. That is an entire paragraph with grandpa talking. It starts here, states that he is talking, and then continues with his thought and what he was talking about until the end. But then we switch things, and now whoever I, the pronoun I is standing for, is maybe his grandson, this right here is saying, I know, grandpa, I said, but that monkey's not tame. He's a wild as a hoot owl. So that's a brand new paragraph for this, this next dialogue. Now even still, that's one, two sentences. And we all know that a paragraph is three to five sentences. But in this case with dialogue, every piece of dialogue that is new or somebody else is talking, another character is talking, you'll give it a new paragraph. You hit enter and tab. And this one right here, Grandpa frowned and said, I don't believe that monkey is as wild as you think he is. That right there is its own paragraph as well, and it's one sentence. So even though it looks different, it is true. Now we're going to move into talking about this paragraph and this word said. We're going to change this word said into something that would actually uh, sound a little bit different. So we can take this word out, go up to our word list, and I'm going to take the word exclaimed. I'm going to copy that word. I'm going to go down. And I'm going to get rid of said and paste that word exclaimed. So now let's see what it says. I never gave him much thought, Grandpa exclaimed. And then it continues with the rest. Now exclaimed just means said in a different word. Now this one, I know Grandpa, I said, but that monkey's not tame. So let's figure out another one. I know, Grandpa, I, hmm. We look at all of these words, and we can just say, wow, does said work there? And I think it does. Or we could put in the word stated. And I think that word would best fit right here. Finally, Grandpa frowned and said, I don't believe that monkey is as wild as you think. Now that right there, said would work there. So as I get it, get into this paragraph and talk about what we had talked about earlier, where said and stated can work and help you, and sometimes you need another word. So we have three examples of three different dialogue tags, and there's many, many more that you can use. Your next item of this is to look at this paragraph when you come into class tomorrow, be, be familiar with it tonight and come into class tomorrow and look at, okay, 
what words could I change that are highlighted blue and actually make um, my, my writing better? Or, even still, is there any areas where there is multiple dialogues in one paragraph? Because read this over and then look for different words and dialogues in, in more than one paragraph. 